What's up, guys? It's been a long time. It almost feels a little bit strange to be here um, on YouTube. But here I am, baby. I'm back. My energy is hopefully good enough for you guys. Hopefully, the quality of the video is okay. I'm trying something new, uh, which is recording on OBS. Hopefully, everything's okay. Anyways, besides the point, The Batman. Okay? This movie is already out. Watched it. I did a full review i was gonna do like a proper review on it and if people still want maybe want to hear my thoughts um i could do like a proper review on it still if people want to otherwise i did a spoiler podcast review episode whatever you want to call it with one of my friends and uh, that'll be up on the youtube channel soon but before then matt reeves that son of a gun matt reeves he decided to drop something on rada alada dot Com. For people that don't know, RadaAlada.com is like the Riddler's real world website that you can go to solve a riddle. You get clues. Like I think the first drop was like a bunch of like images and stuff that you would get and it's it would tease stuff. And, uh, you know, one of the images looked like it teased the Joker. And a lot of people were kind of bummed out because they were like, are they fun to drop NFTs? Is this what this riddle is for? And so a lot of people were worried. Um, no. That wasn't the case. There was another update to the website today, which you might watch to the a couple of days. Whenever you watch this, there was an update. And when I saw this second riddle pissed me off. The first riddle was easy. It's clearly the Joker. It was about a wild card. The second riddle pissed me off. I Let me see if I remember what it was called. The second riddle went, I believe, this is not a joke, but... You must yell it twice in order to get the meaning or something like that. Something like that, right? And it was bugging me. I was at work trying to solve this stupid riddle because I'm like, there's something behind this. There's some new content I need to know. And I was being purist and I was trying to do it on my own until I stumbled across, obviously, ha. What do you have to say twice in order to get the meaning? Ha ha. And what, what, sure, sure as hell, that's what it was. And it opened up a deleted scene of the Joker, which for people that didn't watch a lot of Matt Reeves' um, interviews, the dude actually like pointed it out. Like, yeah, the Joker's in the movie, spoilers. But um, yeah, so um, that was kind of neat. A lot of us were kind of just wanting, obviously, for people that didn't see the movie, I don't know what you're doing watching this, but. If you have seen the movie, this is just an ancillary piece of content to confirm it um, or just to get your juices going, if you will, for the character. And I'm very excited to watch this exclusive clip because the actor that they got for the Joker. Listen, I think the guy's really good. I really liked him in The Eternals. Apparently, he did really good in Dunkirk, I think, um, and a couple other movies. And he's a new actor. He's coming up, but his name definitely is soaring high. And I think they got him while he was hot in the name of Hollywood. And this guy, I think he's a really good actor, man. I'm telling you. So I'm going to be interested to see how, <laughs> what his voice sounds like. I was okay with what it was in the Batman, but this is a full scene, baby. So here we go with the full clip of the Joker and the Batman and the scene that they want to drop. Let's watch it. I'm gonna shut up. Let's just get this. Let's just get this going. 4K. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Who's excited for this? I know I am. Let's go. No more. No more. No more talking. Mm, look like he barely has hair. Imagine if this was in the movie, though. <laughs> Batman, like, I don't even want to talk to you. Mm. Oh, fuck. This guy looks scary. <laughs> Our anniversary, isn't it? Our anniversary? 
It's a serial killer. I want your perspective. First anniversary in paper. What makes you think I know so cheap? I thought you'd be curious. You think I go off in this stuff? Don't you? Oh, this guy looks fucked up, man. Oh, this is a dark, dark Joker, bro. This guy looks messed up. <laughs> it's violence. The way he said, oh. He makes little puzzles, doesn't he? So meticulous. Oh, uh, bro, Matt Reeves really digging into the horror aspect of. Oh, yes. Oh. Who is he? He's a nobody. Wants to be somebody. The mayor. The commissioner. You think his motive is political? Oh, no, no, no. This is very, very personal. He feels these people have all wronged him. Probably goes way back. Unhealed wounds, stolen lunch money. Why is he writing to me? Maybe he's a fan of yours? <laughs> Maybe he's got a grudge against you, too. Maybe you're the main cause. Any theory? This Joker really giving me I, Greg Capullo, I, Scott Snyder Joker vibe. I'm so ahead of the curve. <laughs> but something is different this time. This is very upsetting to you. Let's get back to him. Why? You are so much more fun. I'm not here to talk about me. What are you here to talk about? I want to know how he thinks. You know exactly how he thinks. Have you read this file? You two have so much in common. Masked Avengers. <gasps> so he's even more righteous. <laughs> I'm afraid he makes you look soft. <laughs> You're wasting my time. I gotta rewatch this again. I know it's a long clip, but I'm I'm gonna watch just just the part where he starts talking to Joe. Oh my! Okay, well, hold up. Look at. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Look at this. Okay, I know it's blurry. Okay, this is Messiah mode. I'm going on Messiah mode. Okay, this is Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo's Joker. This is terrifying, okay? This is reminding me a lot of that Joker. Very terrifying, very, like, horror-esque. And the way Matt Reeves built this universe... Oh, my... I just want to go back and watch the Batman after watching this stupid clip. But um, the way he built the universe, it's very horror. 
okay? It's very horror-esque. The way the Riddler was as well, the way the Penguin sort of works as well, even though it's a crime gang sort of aspect, it is also very horror, horror-esque. And this was the one take that I think we can take the Joker that we have not seen. The closest I think we got was maybe Jack Nicholson's, but even then, you know, it wasn't really horror. It was more like, I guess it kind of was, but it wasn't really. Like Heath Ledger's, you could say was horror just on the fact that his performance was scary, right? This performance is also very scary. I, the only thing I could see was the Joker. I didn't see, I didn't see anything else. Like the character that I saw of him in the Eternals, that wasn't this guy. Uh uh, this is this is the Joker through and through. The way he said, oh, the way he said that, dude. Oh my gosh. I know there's a lot of people. Listen, I get it. There's a lot of people that are tired of seeing the Joker. There's a lot of people. Oh my god, every shot, every shot. There's tired. There's a lot of people that are tired of this guy. But listen, Matt Reeves, if he continues this horror journey, this horror vision, neo-noir vision that he has for the Batman, this Joker could be terrifying as he already is. I mean, the way that they already made him, look at my, look at my, my boy ba B Robert Pattinson's face, right? Just like, oh, this guy's fucking, uh. It just makes me curious to see their first encounter. Look at this. Bro, his eye, it's just terrifying. It's just terrifying, okay? But it is, it does remind me again of that new 52-esque, that, that, that new Joker where he gets his face completely like ripped and then he brains it back and he, it just doesn't look the same always. It looks like completely disfigured. But it also works because he would, if, if this is like original Joker, not Joaquin Phoenix Joker, if this is Joker Joker where he fell into the vat, and he's talking about our anniver our anniversary and stuff like that. You know, maybe he fell into the vat, and that's why he looks like this. That makes a lot of sense. Oh my, this is just terrifying right here, bro. This is nightmare. I almost don't even want to keep looking at it. This is nightmare inducing. I don't. I don't think I would show this to kids. This is just terrifying. People talk about uh, uh, Christopher Nolan's movies as like scary, or you know what comes close to this is. Um, what's his face is, um, I was just mentioning, um, uh, uh, Jack Nicholson. It was, um, not even Jack Nicholson's performance. It was the second movie, Batman Returns. That movie, this is giving me that kind of vibes. That movie was horror, body horror nonetheless, but still this is giving me the same vibes with that updated version that Matt Reeves is going for. And I fucks with it heavy. Okay. I need the Joker to be terrifying. I need him to scare me. I need him to feel like that boogeyman that I don't want to exist in the world. I know it's 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 not something that we really... There's a lot of people that wouldn't like to see this in in modern media because it's 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 too scary. It's too nightmare inducing. It's too much like it's too much like something that they don't want to experience, right? But it is the character. If you read the comic books, this is the character and one of the be the best storylines for the Joker unfortunately for a lot of people that are afraid of this type of stuff it happens to be when the Joker is terrifyingly horror esque like where he is that boogeyman he is that guy he he's that guy he just is that guy he's that guy <laughs> um but this is exciting Legit, I just want to see Batman 2 now with the Joker. I know a lot of people, again, I get it. Like, I was talking in my spoiler uh, review with my friend, and he was tired of seeing the Joker. And I can't argue against that because I understand it. We had Joaquin Phoenix. We had um, Jared Leto. Oh, it almost felt like we had them back-to-back. -back. And then people were talking about another joke. Like, um, it, I understand it. I get it. Um, but this... This just feels right. I don't know how to explain, but it's just it just does feel right. I do hope there is a part of me that doesn't want to see him until the third movie. Until the last movie where it's just a full horror climactic show of the Joker. And he goes into maybe Bruce Wayne's house because he knows where he lives. That type of scary type of ish. You know, they could do that route like death in the family type with Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo, comic book ping. Because um, Zero Year, 
from Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo, comic book ping. I felt like a messiah, but that's what they, that's the move. That's the comic book that the Riddler from the bat, from the Batman, they kind of took inspiration from. So it only makes sense if Matt Reeves was reading, re reading them books for him to read death in the family, for him to read the books where the Joker was in it. And that Joker I'm telling you is Freaking terrifying, horror inducing. I remember reading those comics and just not wanting to get off of my bed because he might be under my bed. That type of stuff. And um, it's scary. It's scary. But I need my Joker to be scary. All right. I need him to be scary. I need him to say exactly what he is, like how Barry is playing him. Just a, oh, like I don't, I can't describe it, bro. They just said, it's just his voice too. It fits his English voice. When you hear it, that's why there was a part of me that was like, this could be it. Because I remember thinking about his performance in the Eternals and the way his English voice kind of sounded with the Irish accent. It was an Irish accent, but he has that high pitch voice. So now all he has to do is add even higher of a pitch here and there and go lower with the, oh, I know. <laughs> and um, it's just, it's just, he can, he has so many things he could play with. The laugh was also, okay, I know the bar, you know, Heath Ledger's laugh is really good. <laughs> like, it's really good. But the Barry Krugan was kind of like that, though, but just different, different. It was scary. This is scary. If you don't want, if you're watching this clip and don't think it's scary, something's. I mean, you might just be used to this type of stuff, but yeah, this is this is horror, and I'm all for it. So you guys, let me know what you guys thought. Um, if you guys think it's scary, if you guys agree with me on the Joker, if you also agree with seeing him in the third movie and not the second, I have a feeling they're gonna put him in the second. I would like the third. I would like Court of the Owls maybe in the second, and then Eclipse it in the third with the Joker. That would be an interesting way of bringing him in because i would like to s sort of know what he's scheming you know because they him and the riddler could be scheming something that in the third movie blows up and so that would be cool but they also could just go the second movie type of stuff either way let me know how you guys want to see them do the joker it seems like they got him right um i know people are fatigued but it does seem like this is very accurate um and it's I'm not even going to act surprised because Matt Reeves threw the Batman way out of the park. Like, it was the most comic accurate Batman movie I think I have seen to date. Um, so, I'm I'm just excited. I want to go back and watch the Batman. I want that thing on the, on Blu-ray right in 4K right now just so I can watch it because this just made me want to re-watch it. I just, every shot in this just five minute clip is amazing so um i don't I'm, i don't know i don't i'm geeking out too much all right i don't want to geek out too much but you guys let me know what you guys think uh what you guys want to see with the joker when event evidently they are going to bring him into the universe um in a movie what you want to see him do what kind of comic book line you want to see adapted maybe death in the family or death of the family maybe we could get in robin introduced and he kills i don't know there's a lot of possibilities so you guys let me know Leave it down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm excited to be back on YouTube, and this is not it for me. Um, so I will be back. And you can also catch me streaming on the weekends on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Revo Games, R-E-V-X Games. And I think I'm going to end it there. So thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.